After cataract surgery, we have removed the lens of the eye, the natural lens of the eye. And that lens is really just like a lens of a camera. It is necessary for a child to be able to focus. So without that natural lens, we have to then give a child an artificial contact lens, which takes the place of that focusing power. Without that lens, a child is going to be very blurry. They will have really no way of being able to focus on their own, either at distance, near, anywhere in between. Um, and in a young child whose vision is developing so quickly and so critically, every minute, every day that they're wearing that lens in order to be able to see is crucial for them to develop good vision in the long run. So before you start, you want to make sure everything is set up. So you want to make sure that you have your contact lens case, your solution, your lenses, paper towel, and some Kleenex. And then you want to wash and dry your hands thoroughly. When inserting a contact lens, it's usually easier to use two people. So um, we have a person holding the baby. So what you do is you come from the leg side and you'll use your arms to hold the baby's arms and then you'll use your hands to pull, um, hold the baby's head stable. And then the person who's putting in the contact lens will usually come around the side and they'll insert the contact lens from the side. When you're holding the baby, you wanna make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on their chest or their throat because you'll make the baby feel stressed um, and you just want them to make them feel as comfortable as possible. Okay, so when you start, you just want to pull the contact lens out of the case. So after you get the contact lens from the case, you just want to hold it from the thin edge, so that way it looks almost like a fan. And then you want to make sure that your fingers are dry and the, um, and the eyelids are dry. So you want to use your non-dominant hand to hold the top eyelid. You want to use your dominant hand, you want to use your middle and your ring finger and pull down on the bottom eyelid. You're going to take the contact lens, you're going to push the contact lens underneath the pocket you created with the upper lid and then you're going to let go of the eyelids gently and then after you get the contact lens you just want to open up the eyelid again just to make sure that the edges aren't flipped or anything like that because that can be uncomfortable for the child and then when you are ready to clean your case after you put the contact lens in you just want to dump out the old solution you want to just put some fresh solution in there just rub it out with your finger just like that and then you want to dump it out and then rinse it out with some fresh with a steady stream of fresh solution and then dump that out and leave it out to air dry overnight so that way it's ready for the next time you're ready to take it out and then when you are ready to remove the contact lens you want to take both of your thumbs again you want to make sure that your uh, fingers and the child's eyelids are dry you want to take your thumbs get as close to the edges of the eyelid as you can you want to pull open so that way you can see the edges of the lens. You want to push down and in and it'll pop right out. After you take out the contact lens, make sure that there are no rips or tears or the contact lens isn't cloudy. Uh, you want to make sure it's clear and if it is cloudy, you want to use an enzymatic cleaner. And if that doesn't help, then just call us if you have a ripped contact lens or it's cloudy and we'll call and order you a new one. We're always here to help you if you have any questions. So if you have any, please give us a call.